Hey everybody, TYT Sports locked out the Sixers and Celtics in game six yesterday at Wells Fargo in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The Sixers won that game 82-75. A lot of points to get to. First, the individuals. Drew Holiday, 20 points on seven of 15 shooting, three rebounds, six assists. Also to be noted, six of six from the free throw line. Iguodala contributed 12. Elton Brand channeling his inner 20s with the Bulls had 13 points and 10 boards. Evan Turner contributed very well in this game as well. 12 points, nine rebounds. Lou Williams off the bench, 11 points. And even with Thaddeus Young only scoring two points, the Sixers won this game. For the Celtics, Paul Pierce, 24 and 10, 13 of 13 from the free throw line. Kevin Garnett, 20 points, 11 rebounds. Ray Allen, nine points, one of five from three-point land. Rondo and Bass, nine points each. The field goal percentages, told a lot of the story of this game. The Celtics shot 33%, Philadelphia 45. An astounding number in this game, however, was the points in the paint, 42 to 16. The Sixers dominated the paint, game in and game out. The Celtics only had five points in the paint in the second half. Kevin Garnett, 20, all 20 of his field goal attempts were from 10 feet or more in this game. You could say that Rajon Rondo did not have the killer instinct along with the rest of the Boston Celtics because they simply got dominated in the paint. They did not get in the paint and Doug Collins had, had exactly what he wanted in this game. Force Rondo to not pass as much and force Rondo to shoot more. He had 14 field goal attempts. He scored on four of them. And also you could say Avery Bradley. He sat out with a shoulder injury. He's one of their best defenders. A lot of isolations, a lot of pick and rolls for Philadelphia. They all worked in this game. Here's what Doug Collins said. I think he's a passer first of, of Rondo. He can get into the paint anytime he wants, but I think he really wants to pass first. The numbers on him show when he scores more than he assists, their record is not as good. Last game he had five assists in the first half and we led by three. He had nine in the second half and you saw what happened. Philadelphia, six of their seven postseason wins have come by less than 10 points in the regular season, seven of 18 in games that close. So now game seven in Boston on Saturday, the sixth time that these two storied clubs will meet in a game seven. I personally think the Celtics close it out at home they, they will probably come out way too strong. They will come out much more fierce in that game, playing in front of their home fans. I say the Celtics take game seven in Boston. So let me know your thoughts. You can tweet those at me, at Rick Stroman. Hey, follow me, Facebook page in the description below. Comments in the comments section below. Keep them clean though, guys. And please also do us a favor, subscribe to TYT Sports.